Hello and welcome back to NetApp Insight 2024. Again, plowing through day two. We got so much content to get to. This just this is probably one of my favorite segments that I get to do with NetApp because NetApp really is a customer and partner focused company. Uh, we've been seeing that throughout all of the keynotes. But today, again, I'm joined by Ginny Flanders, who's the Senior Vice President, Worldwide Partner Organization for NetApp. Welcome back on. Thank you. We've got Travis Rubida, who's the Principal Consultant with CDW. Thank you. Great partner, worked with you when I was here as well. Uh, and Clint Euler, who's the Senior System Engineer of Monument Health out of South Dakota. Thank Great you. to have you on. I, I love when we have partners and customers here to talk through these things because I think it is about ecosystem. Mm -hmm. And Ginny, can you kind of help us understand the philosophy and approach uh, that NetApp has to ecosystem and to the partners that you, you bring on board? You kind of said it for me already. You know, NetApp is a partner-centric, customer-centric organization. And we have such amazing partnerships with strategic partners like CDW and many more, you know, looking at how we build out the competencies and the capabilities around our solutions to deliver customer outcomes. So the philosophy is very partner-centric. It's centered around customer outcomes. You know, it's, it's so intertwined. Yeah, no, I, I, think, I think to me that was always the case, and since your leadership here, I think definitely has had that focus on it. And yeah. I think, Clint, you know, from that perspective, how do you see, the, how does it like translate as a customer to what you have to get done on a daily basis and kind of give us an example of, you know, how it has helped you have meaningful outcomes? Well, NetApp um, helped us at a time when we were needing to deploy telehealth and telemedicine. Uh, South Dakota is very rural and there's a lot of places where people don't have quick access to doctors or yeah. medical personnel. So there are a lot of regulations with that and NetApp, NetApp helped us through that. And within starting at zero, we had over 4,500 patients in like a two to three week period. Wow, that's impressive. It, 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 yeah, sorry. Yeah, I mean, it, I think Travis, you know, from a partner perspective, how has the interaction been? You know, again, it, it's a long-standing relationship with yep. CDW. How do you? How does this interaction with NetApp help you provide better outcomes for your for your clients and the joint customers? Yeah, for sure. So, the, one of the key things that we have from a partner perspective with NetApp is really the ability to call upon each other, get access to resources, and then deliver some of the, basically the information that we can deliver to customers mm -hmm. in a meaningful way. So, you know, one of the areas that we helped with Monument Health was really kind of around their Epic environment. And when we look at what we did to that to modernize that and bring basically some of the automation behind that, it, it would not be possible without NetApp. So we were able to bounce ideas off of internal NetApp people, relay those back to Clint, and the other big piece is we have the expertise across CDW, across NetApp, and across Monument to be able to basically put all of that together and really deliver a joint solution that you guys have been very happy with, I believe. Yes. I was just going to say, if I can add on to what Travis is saying, it, it's really a combined effort, right? It's yeah. not just the partners, not just Monument, it's not just NetApp. It's really how we bring this whole ecosystem together and we all leverage off the skills and you know, everything that we need to make sure that we're delivering outcomes, you know, Clint, just like you experienced. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and Clint, I, I think just bridging off that, I, yeah. I think that was a great direction to go in is those outcomes that NetApp and CDW have helped you with, not only about getting up and running fast, but there has to be things around efficiency and data management and really the nuts and bolts of making your job easier as you go along. So uh, kind of help us understand where that partnership has helped you when the rubber meets the road and you got to get stuff done there. Well, we've been partner, well, not partners, but customers of CDW for a while. I and think so, partners is the right word for it. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, and we've gotten to know the engineers, the architects, and the people, so I think a lot of it is just having relationships 
with actual people and not thinking of it as a big business that we're trying to. So we have these relationships with people and the example that Travis brought up with Epic, just that, the amount of time that that saves us having automation in place to better and yeah. more consistently take care of certain aspects of our Epic environment to protect that data and to uh, be able to have a, a fast, robust environment for our end users. And one thing I'd add there is, you know, if we look at what NetApp kind of brings to the table and what CDW can bring to the table there, you know, one of the biggest things that we could take advantage of is the ability to instantly clone things, um, leveraging Ansible automation, and being able to provide secondary sets of resources in that Epic environment. And what that really means from you know, a day-to-day -day admin perspective is less overhead, way less space, and really just driving overall efficiency across the, the IT organization. Yeah, and I mean, what we're hearing here is just true testament to the strengths of our partnerships, right? Um, I, I hear trust, I hear transparency, I hear you know, optimizing you know, around that customer outcome and that solution. Uh, for us, it's you know, so important that we listen to our partners and our customers, because as technology evolves, I mean, think about where AI is taking us right now, it's how we, jointly partner and look at you know, how we take that and generate the best outcomes for our customers with our partners. So you know, that transparency and that trust really leads to that longevity of relationships you know, where we can truly trust one another in solving you know, business problems at the end of the day. So great job. Yeah, oh, yeah. And, and I was going to say, because you, you just hit on a really good topic there, yeah. because again, it, when, you, when you start to look at the fact that, you know, Travis, you brought up, you know, again, Ansible and automation and mm -hmm. cloud operating models and things of that, everybody wants to get to a cloud operating model on-prem or in the cloud or in Colo or wherever. It's not, it's not a destination, it's an operating model yeah. from our perspective. How, how have you really focused on the partnerships and given them kind of the space to build out these services around the NetApp kit and what you bring to bear there. Oh, you know, services have been a big focus for us, um, you know, especially recently with the expansion of our portfolio, our hybrid story, intelligent data infrastructure, what we're doing around AI. So we actually spent quite a bit of time here at Insight talking about the services opportunity for our partners and what the NetApp economy is around that. So, you know, we looked at, you know, for partners, every one dollar of NetApp sold, you could probably, you know, earn 4.55 in return on advisory services, migration services, deployment services, uh, which is really important because we now leaning into, we have a program called PACE, our Partner Accelerated Services Program, um, really helping partners take, you know, a lot of IP from us, embedded into theirs, make sure that we are building practice areas to help deliver these customer outcomes because without the expertise, that is not possible. So it's really important that we are working together to develop those competencies, capabilities, services, practices, and that's how we sort of engage in that that um, you know, services environment with our partners. Yeah, it, it would seem that the outcomes are driven from the customer back. Yes. And you know, Clint, when you look at this and you've gone gone to Travis and NetApp and what what has been the experience that you've seen when you've gone to them with what the challenge that you're having and how has that helped you build trust with them? I would say the experience is that they're always going back to our CDW relationship, just always looking for the right answer for us. And you know, we're a mid-size, maybe small to mid-size healthcare organization, so a solution for us isn't going to be the same solution for Mayo or Cleveland Clinic or a lot much larger organization. So they're willing to meet where we are and then work with NetApp to find that best solution. And, and you're, you're oh, sorry, go ahead. I was just going to say, can I just tell you that CDW have won numerous awards with us you know, just in the way you guys are innovating, you know, really delivering customer outcomes. So I wanted to do that plug and say, they're really a fantastic partner. They lean in deep, they listen to their customers, and 
you know, just phenomenal in terms of what you're driving out there. Well, we couldn't really do it without, you talked about some of the services capabilities yeah. that we have. We rely heavily on NetApp to invest within CDW on our services practice, right? We've continued to grow it out. And I think that's really where the strength of our partnership comes in, is by having those joint services offerings and being able to deliver outcome-based you know, solutions for our customers jointly with NetApp and get the training, the, the actual hands-on equipment, um, that, that's really that's where that partnership shines. Yeah, 100%. And, and like, like you said, again, I think this, this is, you brought up the size of, of, the, of the organization for Monument. I, I look at it and go, it has to be the right size you know, solution for you as well, because what you said for Mayo doesn't necessarily fit for what you're doing. How are you seeing that brought to bear by working with you know, CDW, and NetApp to bring you the right solution at the right size to hit your, you know, achieve your goals. Because you, you have goals still for budgets and things of that nature and ROI that you need to see. How has that been? Well, I'm the type of person who is always looking at technology. I know what the biggest, fastest, and whatever is. And so when we, like when we first implemented Epic, and Epic has a certain requirement, it would be easy for someone to say, well, actually it'd probably be better if we ramped here and here up, but, but we had the perfect solution and we're still running that solution seven years later and it's still performing wonderfully. Yeah, I, I think a lot of people look at it and they're like, everything is going cloud. We're actually seeing that transition back, uh, mm -hmm. that people are coming back on premise with a lot of it, and a lot of that has to do with AI and other things, and, uh, but I think part of it is also the trust that is you know, elevated between the partners and like you said, you know, being able to see, actually physically see somebody, it, you know, it's not a bot you know, talking right. to me and things of that nature. You know, Jenny, how, how do you see that trust building and what you bring and your organization brings to CDW and to Monument to really build out that trust you know, triangle in that relationship. Yeah, and I mean, I referenced that earlier, you know, transparency and the partnership, you know, um, really making sure that we, we listen, you know, to our partners as well as our customers, but to build the partnerships that we have with the likes of CDW, it takes a lot of deep integration, you know, across the board in terms of what is it that you need? How do we help you build the capabilities? You mentioned sort of hands-on labs, you know, making sure that they have the equipment ready, that, you know, you have the IP and the practices. So you can only build that level of strength in a partnership like we have with CDW with deep engagement, deep trust, you know, and transparency, right, in, in the way we engage. So it's a very big focus for us. All right, so I'll ask the, the question around that. How do you really measure success with this? And you, do you have KPIs or what? How do you, how do you know that it's oh, really working? Oh, we absolutely working? have KPIs. You know, I always, I look at, you know, capacity, capability, and commitment. <laughs> so I look at how many, how many of our partners do we have, right? And, and how are we maximizing our customers, you know, to help them realize their potential through, you know, really, I would say innovating with technology. You know, you mentioned you always on the latest and greatest, you know. Hey, we have to keep innovating and that's what we do with our partners, so we measure that. We look at customer outcome success stories and adoption of technology. Uh, technology. We look at who's you know, breaking ground, especially today in AI and how we're helping our customers really structure their data, secure their data. You heard everything this morning. You know, we've, we've got the best out there when it comes to intelligent data infrastructure. So you know, we'll continue to work on that, measure that. We measure a number of KPIs that you know, our partners actually know what we measure. So. Yeah. <laughs> the, goes to the transparency of how we keep each other, you know, um, on track. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I think again that that transparency mm -hmm. is is key. I think. I mean, in yes. all the channel and distribution and all of that programs yeah. that come together, you have to have that transparency to mm -hmm. understand so that you can actually have good customer outcomes. Last last word from a CDW perspective. What what are you looking forward to this week? 
and all, because you probably have more than just one customer here and, and things of that nature. What, is, what are you looking forward to this week and what you're seeing? Yeah, so I think there are a few things that were announced today, especially around the new ASA line and continuing to expand that out to our customer base. Um, but also as we progress down you know, the AI route, and you were saying customers bringing data back on-prem, mm. being able to, one, learn the story, but then two, being able to actually implement that story of migrating data or you know, basically having the data meet you where you are in that AI journey, and then being able to you know, scale as needed. So I think that's one area. And then the other area, quite honestly, is you know, working with customers while we're out here and you know, also uh, fellow uh, NetApp employees and building out that relationship. Because I think that's the other big thing about Insight is it is a very, very good place to continue to like, develop relationships and partnerships. I, I, I don't know that anybody could have said it any better. That, yep. was, that was fantastic. I want to thank you all for coming on board. You know, again, this to me is the, you know, one of the major engines that makes this place home is the customers working backwards from that and understanding that through the partners yeah. with NetApp. So I, you know, I'm glad you could come on board because it, it, it warms my heart. It, uh, it, it really Good. does. So, yeah. so thank you. Thank you, thank you for having thank us. You. Yes, yeah. appreciate it. And thank you for watching this episode from NetApp Insight 2024. We'll be right back with way more to unpack from this week. Stay tuned. <laughs>